Claire has some big news! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, congratulations! My heart is racing. This is crazy. A dream come true. I can't pose this. I, my yes, I will. Oh my gosh, my head's not even in the face. <laughs> he booked another Broadway show! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm just so proud of him. Clay's leaving me from hanging out with me on tour, but it's for a very good reason. Why are you going back to New York, Clay? Uh, I have a costume fitting on Monday. <laughs> uh, Clay, so uh, everyone, what you've been a part of on the Broadway. I have been lucky enough to be in on Broadway Newsies, uh, Matilda and King Kong. That's really cool. Yeah! And, you know, as I mentioned, uh, I had something really special to me happen. I got the phone call from Hamilton, as I mentioned, right over here. We were in the room where it happens. And we were really close to being in the room where it happens again today because I think you missed one of your Broadway credits. Ooh! I got the call today that I'm going to be in Moulin Rouge on Broadway. <laughs> Broadway. He booked another Broadway show! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, so Clay and I have been together for every single one of his Broadway phone calls. My Broadway phone call. I got when I was doing laundry, and we were together for my second one when I got the Pretty Woman call. Clay and I have always been together for his calls. This time, we were working out in the gym here in Providence, where I am with Hamilton, and I was like, well, we have to be somewhere, so I'm gonna go, you know, hop in the shower. He's like, I have 10 more push-ups. And I got out of the shower, and I was like, he's still not in here. And I was thinking, man, those 10 push-ups are taking forever. Then he came in, and he, well, roll the tape. You got your fourth Broadway show. What was your heart doing when you got the phone call? Oh my racing. God, racing. My heart, I came up and I told Chris, and he was like, wait, really? Like, are you serious, are you serious? And I took his hand and I put it on my chest, like, I'm, my heart is racing. Yes, dun, dun, I just got dun, 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 dun. it. So incredible. Yay. Now, this is a show you've wanted to be a part of for a long time, right? It is. I actually haven't even seen the show yet. I have just heard about it and I auditioned for it like way, gosh, three years ago now. Okay. And I feel like I was doing King Kong at the time. I loved the style of the choreo and the like grittiness and it's like kind of contemporary and sexy jazz. Well then um, that's perfect for you. Oh my gosh. I've seen pictures of the set and I've seen like the b-roll and I've seen their parade performance and the Tonys and all of those things but I haven't seen the show. I'm looking forward to seeing it. I hope I get to see it before I start rehearsals. That's so freaking cool. Yeah it's great that you could go back for a show but it's sad. Now we both have jobs and are both going to be busy for the next year and yeah. so we'll get to see each other on our days off which is Mondays but I don't get to see you every day and sleep in the same bed as you. So send Clay lots of love. And send me love too. Yeah. So Clay was just like hanging out with me in Providence for two weeks. Ring ring. Hey you have an audition. What was the audition like Clay? Racy. Well first we had to get a COVID test to even go in the room. You had to be vaccinated and get a COVID test before like the day of. At 7 in the morning I got a a COVID test, then- 7 a.m. Gosh. <laughs> I had the audition at 10.30. There were probably like 25, 30 of us in the room. We did a short dance combination and we sang. And then they had a, a second group. They did the same thing, short dance combination, and then they sang and made a cut. Then they had a couple of us come back in the afternoon and we did some more dancing. So they brought in three girls that are in the show and they had us dance with them. They had four of us stay and sing. Down to the final okay. four, my husband got to the final four. <laughs> One of the four of us got the temporary swing and then I got the onstage track, so. You're gonna be on Broadway again, that's so incredible. Crazy, crazy. I'm just so proud of him. Thank you. You're so talented and you've been doubting yourself a little bit. We all doubt ourselves at times and yeah. He did it, he did it, he did it. I smacked his little butt. Pack it up, leave, get out of here, go beyond Broadway. No, I don't want to leave you. It's I know. crazy that, I mean, it's been so, so nice to get to spend so much time together with you being in Philly and then Providence and yeah. just like all of the cities that I've gotten to come visit you in has been so nice. But now, these are all, all dirty clothes. It's okay, taking him back to do laundry in our apartment when you go back to New York to be on Broadway! Crazy. It is Sunday, the 11th, 12th, 
I see Moulin Rouge tonight for the very first time. I'm very excited. I've heard it's like a giant spectacle and I've heard the dance numbers are incredible. I am so freaking excited to see it. Um, and I have my costume fitting tomorrow. Ah! This is crazy. My fourth Broadway show. I feel very lucky and I'm very excited. Very, very excited. So in another unexpected change of events, Clay actually tested positive for COVID. We covered that in our last vlog. Please watch that right now. I'll do a little pop-up and I'll put it in the description box as well. So he is quarantining for 10 days. After that, he will start rehearsals with Moulin Rouge. Thankfully, the company was really understanding and thankfully they were testing the cast members, including Clay, since he's a cast member now, every single day. And because of that, they caught it before his first rehearsal. He's asymptomatic, has had no symptoms, and uh, he'll be out of his quarantine really soon. All right, tomorrow's the day. I'll get to leave and I get to start rehearsals. I'm very excited. I'm ready to get out of here. Oh, it's December 23rd. I get to leave the house today for the first time in 10 days. I'm very excited about that. The first place I'm gonna go is to go get a COVID test so I can start rehearsal today. And then I'm gonna go to the gym and then I'm gonna come back here, take a shower, get ready because I get to start rehearsal for Moulin Rouge today. I start with a music rehearsal for a couple hours and then I have lunch and then I have a couple hours of dance rehearsal. I'm very excited. And then after rehearsal, I'm gonna jump on an airplane and I'm gonna go see my family and Chris for Christmas. Very excited, come along. Going outside. Just wanted to document this. Oh, I'm outside. I'm outside. Nobody's around me, so I don't have my mask on. Also, my friend Caroline made me this scarf, and it's very comfy, very cute, and very warm. Shout out to Caroline. All right, I just got tested. I got a rapid antigen test. Also, I'm passing Krispy Kreme right now, and this is true self-control. But it's got a, a rapid test. So I can't get a PCR test for about 90 days because it will still show that COVID is in my body. And now I'm heading to the gym. Quick break to show you some of the awesome things you've sent to our PO box. Marcus M sent us this really cute thing from our Amazon wish list. We wanted some more Mickey decorations for Christmas and uh, Scrooge McDuck is so overwhelmed <laughs> with Christmas spirit that he is jumping for joy. Oh. <laughs> No, him in the air. To the ceiling. <laughs> Thank you so much, Marcus. We really appreciate it. We got some boxes from Dana. They're with the cutest wrapping paper I've ever seen in my entire oh, life. Man. This card is so cute. Look at all them. I can't get oh, over the wrapping paper. Aww. Okay. So cute. Thanks, Dana. Thank you, Dana. That's so sweet. I gotta say, Dana, this is really well packed. Oh, very cute. <laughs> yeah. Cute. Rice Thompson's. Oh my gosh. Yes, new candle. We love candles more than anything. Let's not. Mmm. Thank you so much. I think it's smelling. Oh, sorry. Oh, yum. Mmm. It smells like a beach. How cute. And who was Walt Disney? Looks like it's a whole series. There's some more on the back. Thanks so much, Dana. These were very, very sweet. Loved the wrapping paper and loved all the personal notes. Thanks yeah. so much. Also, I just realized this is called the Gay BCs, not the Gay ABCs, and I think that that's brilliant. Oh my gosh, we just got this package from Sherry. Thank you so much for making our Disney dreams come true. Olaf stuffed animal, how cute. This stay cozy pillow. Oh my gosh, and I can't even tell you how soft this blanket is. It has like a print on one side that has like Minis and Mickeys and Disney characters on the inside, it's all really, really soft. Thank you so much, Sherry. These are so great and we just are so thankful to have these in our home. Jonathan in London got us these adorable little ornaments. They're so cute, they're like fabric, they're cute. Hang those up, yeah. As well as these gold sea ornaments. And we actually had these like sparkly gold seas at our reception for our wedding. So it reminded us of those. Yeah, we, we didn't even know that, tree. but thank you, Jonathan. And he got us some more gold spine books. <sighs> Yes. Man, our kids are gonna be so spoiled. I can't wait. Thank you so much, so thoughtful. Thank you, Jonathan. We actually don't know who sent us this next gift, but we got these really cute ornaments. We got Olaf, mm -hmm. my favorite. 
Um, not my favorite of the two, I just like Olaf <laughs> in general. And Patch from 101 Dalmatians. And my five year old birthday party was 101 Dalmatians themed. So um, these are so, so, so cute. Thank you for sending them our way. If you sent these to us, please let us know in the comments. And we're gonna put them on our Disney tree right now. Thanks for adding to our collection. Sarah got us Nadia's cookbook. Yes, I we're, love Nadia. We're obsessed with Nadia and Nadia Bakes on Netflix. Um, and she was on the Great British Bake Off a while back too. She was. But Sarah is always so great with messaging me about my Disney doodles. So thank you, Sarah. Shout out to you. Sarah also got us this little Lego minifigures and it's like a surprise. They're so... Disney characters and you don't know which ones you're gonna get. Okay. It's the guy from Incredibles. What's his name? Um, not Electro. Incredible. Yeah, let's do uh, Put them together. I will. Our first Lego Disney villain. What's his name, Clay? I think it's Syndrome. Oh, also Sarah sent a gift card. Yes. Thank you so much. That really helps us thank you. get things for the holidays around the apartment. We appreciate it so much. Yes, thanks, Sarah. Our pal Julian got us the sweetest gift. He got us these adorable brick heads of Goofy and Pluto. How and it was cute. so thoughtful. Thanks, Julian. We appreciate it so much. We miss you. Hopefully, we'll see you soon. And we can't wait to make a vlog when we build this. Be yeah. So Look at this sweet Thanksgiving card from Jerry. Thank you so much. And this sweet Christmas card from Greg. Happy holidays to you both. Okay, I don't know if my camera can do a wide enough angle to capture how cute this blanket is. We got this amazing blanket and a journal that looks like the Hocus Pocus book um, from someone from Amazon. So if this is from you, please let us know. This is amazing. Thank you for the very, very sweet gift. So fun to find this in our P.O. box. Anna and Hungry sent us each a shirt for our birthdays. Clay's birthday was in Halloween and mine's coming up in just a few days. Ooh. As well as this cute ornament. Mickey ornament! Marty and Kenny, this season's greeting holiday card is so cute. Thank you so much for the love and support. Sending you well wishes. And Mark, this card is also cute. and matches our table. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mark. I'm on my way. My very first Moulin Rouge rehearsal. Super excited. It's, I mean, gosh, a dream, a dream come true to be on Broadway and to have gotten to do it more than one time is something I will never, never take for granted. I'm very, very grateful and very excited. Let's do it. So everyone, go support Clay and Moulin Rouge starting in late January. Yeah. Me and everyone watching this vlog, I'm sure, are so proud of you and all your hard work and dedication. Mm. And thank you. Thank it's you. wonderful to see you live your dream. Thank you, thank you. Very, very, very special. Congratulations. Thank you.